the African savanna. A place bursting with life. A vast landscape, home to a seemingly endless array of plants and animals. From the minuscule to the mighty. But underlying this ecosystem are hidden complexities, many of which we are yet to understand. Each species is vital in maintaining the delicate balance. Insects pollinating, herbivores shaping the landscape, and predators removing the weak. This is a complex web of ever-evolving interactions. With the heat of the summer, come the rains. Overnight, the savanna bursts into life. Flowers blossom, a landscape of grasses, thorn bushes and scattered trees turns green and lush. Water must be conserved preparing for the harshness of the dry season that will follow. But today, animals gorge on the abundant new growth, each in their own unique way. The bees gather nectar. Unknowingly, they transfer pollen from plant to plant, allowing fertilization throughout the savannah's botanical kingdom. Grazers target the grasslands. Warthogs dig for roots and grubs in the shallow dirt. Elephants browse on trees and bushes. And the giraffe, towering above all, grasps leaves from the tallest trees. Each species playing an essential role in maintaining the African savanna. Watching are Africa's predators. The king of which is the lion. Their role is to regulate prey, removing the weak. Thinning out large herds of animals opens up space and resources for smaller herbivores. Death is an inevitable part of the cycle, yet energy is not lost. Carcasses release a torrent of vital nutrients back into the delicate ecosystem. Centipedes, worms and bacteria thrive on these rich nutrient deposits. Termites, always busy, are another major decomposer of the savanna, returning nutrients to the soil as they consume dead plant matter. These nutrients are now ready to enter back into the cycle. Up through the roots of plants they are drawn, shoots sprout, flowers bud, and the trees grow stronger and taller. The cycle continues. Life on Africa's savannah is more than a collection of individuals. All lives are intricately interwoven, where the removal of even one seemingly insignificant species can cascade throughout the ecosystem. It is our responsibility to safeguard the diversity of the savannah, recognising the importance of each and every species. If we can achieve this, then one of the world's last pristine ecosystems may have a future.